few years ago at the Davos conference, Mark Zuckerberg was asked how a business should go around creating an online community around this brand. And he said this, is that you don't start communities, they already exist. They're already doing what they want to do. What you need to do is find a way of helping them to do it better by giving them some kind of elegant organization. Now, content marketing, social marketing, community, community marketing, whatever you want to call it, is nothing new, really. There are business models out there that have been doing this kind of thing for decades without even realizing or calling it that kind of thing. And the best example of a content marketer I can think of is a nightclub. If you think about it, now, back in the 1980s and 1990s, I was a nightclub DJ. And when I first moved to Gosford on the Central Coast in 1992, it was a lot more disconnected from Sydney back then. And there was a lot of alternative music fans up there. And there was no place for them to go. So what would happen, you'd have small little communities of people in each other's living room, listening to Triple J, showing a six pack and swapping some CDs. So we approached a local nightclub and said, give us your dead Thursday night. We'll put on an alternative music night. And so we launched The Pit in 1994. And it ran for five extremely successful years. It was the most successful themed night they ever ran. So much so now that there's still a Facebook group going, we're doing a 20th anniversary reunion next year. What we had done was bring together all those small little communities to form a much bigger one by allowing them to enjoy the music that they wanted to do in a much better, more convenient, and more elegant way. And it was extremely effective. Now, the business model of a nightclub is not the music. It's the beer. It's what's behind the bar. None of you are here tonight because of the choice of beers on tap. You've come here because of the content. And but as a side effect, they're going to sell lots of beer. Nightclubs are the same. They advertise the music, they advertise the DJ, and that's why you choose this nightclub over that nightclub. Otherwise, you'd have just gone to the pub. So nightclub advertise, night, no, nightclub content marketing, rather, is about filling the club. Most digital marketing is about selling the bar. So much um, search engine advertising is about that final click and not really thinking about what content and other activities created the interest in the first place, what nurtured them to a point or got them into the brand to, so that when they did see the advert, they were more likely to click. So it's about filling your dance floor, filling your club so that there's more chance that they're going to buy beer from your bar as they move down. Now, as a DJ, I didn't care how much beer they saw behind the bar. That wasn't my job. My job was to fill the club. Um, but if every day there are social media strategies, content marketing strategies, and so on, that are sacked for not selling beer, effectively. What I mean by that is nightclubs have a very short sales cycle. You get to the club, you get very hot, eventually you'll buy a drink. But online, your content marketing, your social media strategy, or whatever, will be in a different location. It'll be on Facebook, it'll be on a blog, it'll be in a community. So, and then people are saying, well, we need to get some sales from that. And that's like having your DJ and your dance floor in one building, and having your bar in another building, three streets down, uh, across a busy road and up three flights of stairs, and then blaming the DJ when you don't sell your beer. What you need to do is have some content, have some way of guiding people from the dance floor to your bar. So that from Facebook, maybe you get them to sign up to your email newsletter, or to download an ebook. And that might lead them to another piece of content, and so on, until they find themselves in a position whereby they're going to buy. And that means looking at your crowd, engaging with them, knowing what's working, knowing what's not. So that people all get their turn on the dance floor. Those people who haven't been up there, what are they going to be interested in? And providing them the content that they want. And that does mean taking requests. I've never understood DJs that don't take requests, because that is the crowd telling you what kind of content they will respond to. Technology doesn't replace this. You could have the best DJ kit out there, and that does not make you a DJ. You could know everything about how to build a Facebook page. That does not make you a marketer. Marketing is, and is about what it is, the content that you are sharing and how you're building a community around that content. Otherwise, you may as well have a jukebox in the corner. And no one has ever chosen a bar to meet their friends in because of the jukebox. So. So it, it is important to talk, to find a niche, and find what type of content no one else is doing. Because if everyone starts delivering the same kind of content, thinking, okay, we're gonna uh, maximize our audience by doing the most popular type of content out there in the easiest possible way, you've 
eliminated your competitive advantage straight away again. Instead, what you need to be doing is finding the niche, finding what's not been served very well, and doing it to, the, in its, to a high, high standard to build a community around that content. So hopefully all of you will keep your dance floors full and your bar selling beer. <laughs>